What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. In today's video, we're hopping back onto that Series 14 ladder, but this time using a team that features Lunala and Kyogre. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. It really goes a long way. You guys also want to ring those notification bells because Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet comes out very, very soon. And I'm going to be having tons of content on that game. So like I said, ring those notification bells so you do not miss out on any of my videos. But before we get started here with today's team preview, you guys know the deal. I got to give a shout out to the team creator, my boy Clever Bells. Thank you so much for making some Series 14 rental teams. I will be leaving a link to his channel. He has other rental teams for Series 14 over there. So if you guys are interested in checking them out, definitely go check them out. Like I said, link to his channel will be down in the description below. But with that out the way, we can get started here with today's team preview. Starting off in that top left corner, we have the one and only Lunala over here. Really cool Pokemon, Psychic and Ghost type with the Shadow Shield ability alongside the Power Herb as its item. It's got Moongeist Beam, Meteor Beam, and then Trick Room and Protect for its other two moves. Second Pokemon is going to be that Kyogre, our second restricted Pokemon because there's only two allowed in Series 14. We got Drizzle, we got Mystic Water as item and ability, and then pretty normal moveset with Water Spout, Origin Pulse, Ice Beam, and Protect. Third Pokemon on today's team is going to be my favorite support Pokemon in Sword and Shield. It is going to be Grimmsnarl, and I think Grimmsnarl is already confirmed to be back in Scarlet and Violet, so pretty cool to see him getting some love in, and we're definitely still going to be using him in Scarlet and Violet, so going to be tons of fun to bring him over. But he's got Prankster, he's got Light Clay, Spirit Break, Reflect, Light Screen, and Thunder Wave for this amazing moveset. I feel like his moveset does not get better than that. I really don't think it does. Fourth Pokemon on today's team is going to be Thunders, and you haven't really seen a lot of Thunders in Series 13, but now that the rule set has changed back, Thunders is back in that top spot and he's such a strong Pokemon. He's got Defiant as its ability, and that Life Orb as item, and then Wild Charge and Fly for two stab hitting moves, Foul Play for our coverage move, and then last but not least, we have Protect on him as well. Bottom left hand corner is going to be Incineroar. I'm not going to say anything about this Incineroar because this is just a normal Incineroar with a normal moveset, normal ability, normal item. Just It's just Incineroar. So if you guys really want to check it out, just look at the bottom left hand corner. Final Pokemon on today's team is going to be Ferrothorn over here. And I love Ferrothorn up against physical attack. So this thing is so bulky on the defensive stat and it can stall out battles. This one has Gyro Ball, Power Whip, Knock Off, and Body Press. And it's got Iron Barbs and the Assault Vest. Guys, if you want to run the team for yourself, Mental code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Look to get some wins with this Kyogre and Lunala Series 14 team. First match coming at you guys, and it is so cool to see Togekiss back on the rank ladder. I absolutely love Togekiss, and I haven't used it in so long, so seeing it back on the rank ladder makes me happy. It definitely makes me happy, but we're going up against a Dialga and Zassian team that features Pokemon like Togekiss, like I already mentioned. Then he's got Landorus, Sableye, and Ditto. Okay. How should I go into this one? Ditto is kind of scaring me, but I feel like Ditto's kind of there just to kind of counter up on Zacians. It is really strong with Zacians. Um, I could go in with, uh, Incineroar's not a bad lead, considering he has a few physical attackers, so I think I'm going to lead Incineroar. Or, you know, I should maybe bring Incineroar in the back end, because he could definitely lead Sableye, so I might lead Thunderous alongside with Grimstone. I really do like that. Bring in Kyogre in the back end, and then last but not least, go into a Pokemon like Incineroar. I'm digging that. I'm definitely digging that a lot. <laughs> I'm liking that. I'm liking that a lot. We'll leave Lunala and Ferrothorn out of this battle, and we'll use them in a different one. But before battle number one starts, guys, head down to the comment section down below. Let me know for question of the day. What Pokemon do you think are the best in Series 14? And of all the Pokemon, what do you guys think are the best? So let me know in the comment section down below. And if you guys give me some good answers, I'll probably use them for a video. But he's going to end up throwing out da -da -da, these two little buggers. And I was going to lead in Cinemore, but I'm kind of cool with this. I can Thunder Wave turn one. And I could drop an airstream if I want to. Uh, I'm trying to think of like what else I could do here. I could set up a reflect. Reflect could definitely help us out. I could guard this first turn. But I think maybe a max lightning could KO. I think going into like a max lightning here. Into a thunder wave and just double down on this Zassian could be the play. Zassian could also protect. But I don't think he's going to protect. I feel like he's like, okay, I have speed. Let me get after it. But he can definitely dynamax at the Alga. Oh, and just drop a steel spike into me. That'd be no bueno. I wouldn't like that one bit. Not one bit. Hmm. Be a problem for me. But the Alga can be a problem for me. He could be a huge problem for me. But maybe he might not Dynamax it, but I feel like he is. I feel like he has to, right? I feel like he has to. We're definitely Dynamaxing here. 
Twin Dynamax with Thunders in a dive ball. Why does this thing have the dive ball? It makes no sense, but uh, okay, I guess. <laughs> I guess it's in a dive ball. But we Dynamax with Thunders. This thing is a beast, but I don't know if that was the right play. I feel like he has a way better lead than us. Incineroar would have been a great lead. Is he going to Dynamax Dialga? I think he is, right? Yeah. The Dynamax is going to come out from the Dialga slot. I think he's just Steel Spiking into Grimstone. As long as he doesn't protect that Zacian, I feel like we should be fine. And I think we can pick up a KO onto it with a Lightning here. But Thunder Wave will slow it down. We'll see what he wants to. I'm kind of hoping he goes to the left Thunders because we can eat it up. No protect from his ass. Let's see. Cool. No protect from Zacian. Thunder Wave is going to fly. We are going to slow down that Pokemon with that. And then we're just going to drop a Lightning into it. Which we're hoping we can KO with this, right? I'm hoping. I'm Life Orb. It's Stab got a lot of boost going and it does pick up the KO so solid first turn from us I'll take that all day oh we got a crit we got a crit I don't know if that 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 helped us out but you guys gotta let me know I know if some of you guys do the the pokey calcs and all that let me know if that max lightning was KO and regardless of the crit he's gonna go for the rock fall okay I'm I'm fine with that because thunders you should be able to eat this up you don't never mind did you get a crit he did not. That just dumped on me. Okay. That's fine. So he dumps on me with a coverage move. Okay. I was really hoping we could eat that one up, but be like that. I could come in here, change weather, set up some screens. Could definitely do that. I could paralyze. Uh, I don't want to just go in and sit over here. I don't have safety goggles with him. I could fake out this turn. I could set up a light screen. I think we just start setting up screens and we kind of save this for... Did this battle for Kyogre to try to win this one out for us. He's gonna go Sableye, and I can't fake him out, of course. This game sucks, man. <laughs> Hate this game. Um, I think we set up a Light Screen. We could Paralyze as well, but I think we get a lot of value out of the Light Screen. So, I'm gonna start bulking our team up. I'm just gonna go straight for a Throw Chop into this thing. Start teeing off on that. And set up the Light Screen. Light Screen, baby. He's gonna fake me out. That little booger. He's probably gonna fake out my Grimson all. No, we just straight up Helping Hands. He's going for the KO. He's going for KO. I could definitely see a Steel Spike coming in here. I'm going to set up the Light Screen. I'm going to try to get my Kyogre out here. Clean up this mess. But he's just going to Max Quake into my... I don't like the Max Quake. That Special Defense boost into him. And you die in one shot, man. Just get ripped out here by the Stialga. Stialga's doing some work. It's doing some work. Uh, I think we paralyze it. Do we paralyze it this turn? I mean, he could quash me. He can definitely quash me, but I feel like we have to paralyze it. There goes that thing's focus action, which is really good, so I'm happy that happened. But I feel like we just go into Kyogre, we drop an Origin Pulse, and we... Do I drop Special Attack onto that Dialga? That could be good if we just start doing that. I could also, I think I'd rather paralyze it and go into, I'm going to go into an origin pulse just in case he, uh, just in case he quashes me, he would still go, Kyogre would still go last, so I'm just going to drop this in. I'm going to Thunder Wave, I'm going to go into an origin pulse, and, oh, this one's tough, this one is a tough battle, this is indeed a tough battle, but I'm hoping that's the origin pulse, if it lands on the same, well, I can pick up the KO. I know he's plus one on special defense, but the problem would be if he quashes me. Did I miss my Thunder Wave? Bruh. Bruh! Now I get tricked. Son of a biscuit. Is that Iron Ball? Yep. Takes my Mystic Water. That hurts the soul. Down goes Grimmy Grim. It's the Algus just ripping. He boosts his defense. So now I have Iron Ball, which sucks. I did not land my Paralyze. Everything's going downhill. At least he boosts his defense because special attacking. Um, how much damage are we going to do? Order Pulse flies. No damage over on that save line. We are going to go last, so we're just going to have to drop another order. Huh. Is there a shot we can win this battle? I feel like I always underestimate Diablos and Palkias. I feel like I always do that. I feel like I always underestimate Diablos and Palkias. But I'm just going to go for another Origin Pulse. He's probably not going to quash me. Probably just going to hit me with like a foul play. Go for like be a roar time if he has it or an earth power nope he just straight up helping hands i think he's gonna go for a roar time here Let's see how this one plays 
Can we dodge this? No, we don't. Oh my god, this move looks so sick. That damage, ridiculous. <laughs> ridiculous damage. Roar time comes out here. We need to go for an orange pulse. And how much damage do we do? Should kill kill the Sableye, right? Yeah, kill the Sableye. And I think Roar Time, he cannot attack next turn. Who's his final Pokemon? Took out the Zassian already. Who's it going to be? Do we have a shot at this? No, we do not, because this thing's just going to transform. <laughs> Good old ditto, man. Good old ditto. But yeah, battle number one does not turn out well for us. We're going to end up losing this one. I'm just going to run it because, you know, he has his, he has his own lock here as he transformed into my Kyogre. But I feel like that Rockfall that took out my Thunders really put us in a tough position, and I was not expecting him to take out my Thunders in one shot. Second battle coming at you guys, and I owe you guys a win. We're going up against a Yveltal and Kyogre team with two Intimidate Pokemon. He's got the Incineroar and Landers, and then he's got Whimsicott and Rillaboom. I feel like we don't even bring in Kyogre at this point. Like, Kyogre is such a pain. He's really a pain with Rillaboom, because Rillaboom could just dump on it. So I feel like Grimstrong and Thunders is a really solid lead here. We have Defiant, right? So he's, that really forces out all of the, uh, the Intimidate Pokemon. And then... We're super effective onto the Wimscott, onto the uh, Yveltal, and onto the Rillaboom, and onto the Kyogre. Like, four of the Pokemon we're super effective up against, and then if he intimidates us, he's sh just going to boost our attack. So, I really do like that. I really do. So, I'm going to go in with them, too. I am going to bring in Incineroar, and I think Lunala in the back end is going to be solid. Again, I do not want Kyogre. Like, I, as much as I actually... Do I go Kyogre? I'm kind of leaning towards Kyogre here. The only way Kyogre's good is if we can get rid of Rillaboom. And I feel like we can. You know, no, we're going to go Lunala. But Kyogre's good up against a few of these guys, but Rillaboom just... Mm, no bueno. No bueno. We don't like that one bit. Not one bit. But I really do like Thunders here. The Thunder Scrimson on combo again. I just think I'm all about it. I'm all about it. Cool, cool, cool. So I think I, we're just going to start off with an Airstream, get speed, and probably set up a screen just so we can outbolt some shots. Maybe if I would have set up a screen first turn. Nah, because then we wouldn't have gotten rid of the, uh, the Zassian. I was, I was going to say, if we set up a screen first turn, we could have survived that shot. Yeah, we would have, but we wouldn't have been able to attack the Zassian. But he goes these two. Um, I think this thing's going to be special attacking, right? So I'd rather just set up a light screen here, Dynamax, go into an airstream. So we can keep speed. Let's spear break this thing. Now we'll set up the light stream first, and I will go into a. Do I just lightning this thing? This slot? I don't think we lightning a slot. I think we go straight into the air. Let's say we go straight into an air stream. So if we lightning the Yveltal slot. He can easily swap to the Lando, which he doesn't. But still, I just didn't want to take the risk at this point. So we're back to Animax, and we're gonna set up the light stream. I'll set up the reflect next turn. I shall set up the reflect next turn. But if he goes into a dark move, he does proc Defiant, which is really good for us. I just think he stays and he goes to an airstream maybe with a Dynamax. We'll see. Yeah, so there's Dynamax from the Veltal. Again, we set up the light screen. I'll set up the reflect next turn. Or I might just attack. It really depends. It really depends. If I can tell that he's special attacking, then I might just go into a spirit break. But if not, I can set up a screen pretty easily here. But I would love for him to go for Dark Move in the way. Or into Grimstrong or something. Just so we can have this, uh... Just so we can have this Defiant pop. But I'm gonna pop the Light Screen. He's gonna set a Tailwind. He's gonna get some speed. And we'll see what he wants to do here. He's gonna Darkness. I'm cool with that. To my Thunderous. And this thing is definitely a uh, special attack. And so that's a huge Light Screen from us. So Defiant is going to pop. This thing is probably Sash, right? It's probably Sash. And I think if I Thunder Wave... No, we can't prank him. It's dark. Never mind. I was going to say we could Thunder Wave him. But I'm fine with this. Defiant's going to boost for plus two. Show me no Sash. No Sash, dude. I love the no Sash. I'm really liking the no Sash. So we know we can eat up another shot from the belt all day. So I'm going to uh, either Thunder Wave the Pokemon that he throws into, depending on what it is. And then go into uh, Max Lightning to that Evil. Because I'm plus two. I would love to drop this thing. I would love to get off some big damage onto it. He's going to send out Kyogre. Um, yeah, I think we just Thunder Wave Kyogre. And then we go into a... Uh, 
I think we Thunder Wave Kyogre, because Kyogre even, might even protect. Let me just go into a Lightning Indie Belt slot. So yeah, I'm just going to go into a Thunder Wave. As long as he doesn't get a high roll, he should be fine. Here. Oh no, we dropped our special defense. Do I guard the shot? Hmm. I'm just going to do this. I oh, dropped our special defense. No bueno. No bueno. That is no good. But still, a nice little paralyze can come out here. Could be big from us. We'll see what he wants to do. He doesn't protect. So we're going to be able to thunder wave this thing, which is pretty solid. Slow him down. And what's he going for? Can you go for another max Arctis? Can you go on the Grimstar this time? No, he's going to take on my Thunderous. Oh, we eat. We eat, which is gorgeous. We ate that one. That is lovely that we eat that. That's huge. Because Thunderous should be able to outspeed him. We're plus four now. So we should be able to take out Yveltal. No problem, right? So I don't mind Thunders going down after taking out a Dynamax Yveltal and a Wimscott. That's huge turns from us. Wow, we were able to eat that. I'm surprised. I am surprised. Unless that thing's physical. I don't think that's physical. Unless maybe on the off chance he used a physical attacking Max Darkness. Because I know I get mixed up sometimes and I have to make sure I'm using the right uh, Max Darkness. You can go for Origin Pulse. And yo, Thunderous dodges it. Yo, that's so big. Thunderous dodges it. Grimstar is going to take a big amount of damage. And we're looking pretty good here because I can Thunder Wave the other slot here too. I can Thunder Wave this other slot. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm liking this. I'm liking this. We still have... We still do we have back in Incineroar and Lunala, which I really like. But I'm not going to have to get rid of this Kai over here. Let's say we just Lightning Drop into it and Thunder Wave whatever Pokemon. I mean, it could be, it could be, what's it called? If it's in, I feel like it's either Incineroar or Landorus, and that's kind of tough for us. And the reason I say it's tough for us, because we cannot Thunder Wave Landorus, because he's ground, and then another thing is, if he has Incineroar, he can just fake out my, he can fake out my, what's it called right here? He can fake out my, uh, my boy right here, my Thunders. <laughs> he Defiant boosts his game, we're plus five, I think. We're plus five, so I think what the smart play would be. He died, yeah, he already died. So the smart play would be Thunder Wave you and just guard the shot. That would be the smart play. Oh my god, look at our stats. And the reason I say that's the smart play, I mean, how many turns left in Tailwind? There's two. The reason I say that's the smart play is because he can fake us out and kill us on 11 HP. And if we can guard this shot, waste out the fake out turn, and get off the Thunder Wave, both of them will be paralyzed. We can outspeed with our Thunders. We can KO the Kyogre next turn. And we kind of go from there. So I'm just going to max guard here. Even if he doesn't go after me, I just feel like it's a smart play. Goes for the fake out, and there it is. He was looking for the KO there. So we make a smart call. And of course, oh, wait, he's dark. All right, I'm stupid. Gino's just a little stupid. Gene's is a little stupid. Of course, yo, I, I caught on to it. I was like, okay, uh,. Actually, we still might be faster than Incineroar in the tail. It's kind of close, but, uh, actually now I have Fake Out. It's even better. It's even better, but, of course I catch on to the Dark Prankster with the Yveltal, but then Incineroar comes out here, and I totally forget about it. <laughs> I just think it's so funny. But we get that attack drop. I'm not going to Fake Out the Kyogre. But I know my Thunder's out, so I'm just going to Fake Out the Incineroar. Yo, look at Incineroar's. One's shiny, one's not. They look like they hate each other. <laughs> like, hey, yo, what's good, dog? You don't look the same as me. But yeah, I'm just going to wild charge here. Go into a fake out. Maybe he doesn't protect. And he just cancels battle. So there it is, ladies and gentlemen. Our first win. Let's hop into our third and final and look for a winning record. Final battle coming at you guys, and this one's looking like it's going to be tough. Zapdos is back in the meta. Zapdos is a really strong Pokemon. Back in Series 12, it was dominant, and now the rule set is pretty much the same. Zapdos is back here to do some damage. He has Zapdos, he has Kartana, then he's got Incineroar, Zacian, and Whimsicott, and Kyogre. Forgot to mention Kyogre, but I feel like leading a Pokemon like Lunala could be good here. Lunala, and I could go with Screens, or I could go in with Thunderous, or even Incineroar wouldn't be bad. Cinnamon just nice for the fake out. I feel like he can go Whimsicott and Zapdos. It's definitely an option. I feel like um, maybe going into this Pokemon could be good. Maybe faking out turn one. Just maybe even parting shotting. Huh. How do I want to play this? 
How do I want to play this? I could go Grim. I really like Grim Snarl. I'm going to go Grimmy here. I'm going to go Grim Snarl. I'm going to set up screens. I'm going to go Kyogre in the back end. And then last but not least, I'm going to bring Thunders. Do I bring Thunders or do I bring Incineroar? I think we bring Thunders. I think we're going to need a Pokemon that maybe Dynamax later on. But, it's, but it kind of sucks. We didn't go in or we didn't first any Shadow Rider Calyrexes. And our Ferrothorn can counter up on our Shadow Rider Calyrex. It has knockoff. It can take off Focus Ash and kill it in one shot. Just instantly. It's just like, yo, you got a Focus Ash. Let me knock it off and hit you at the same time. Take it off and pick up the KO. So I wish we were going up against Shadow Rider Calyrexes. It would have been a great play to go into. But he goes into Kyogre and Women's Scout, which eh, is too bad. I'll set up the Light Screen. And I will go into Meteor Beam. Yeah, I might as well Meteor Beam. You get that special... Special attack boost, which is very, very valuable. I could also go into a Paralyze, but I, I'd rather uh, get off a Lich King first. I could trick him here, too. Ooh, I could trick him. I could trick him. And that's exactly what Gene's going to do. Gene's going to trick him, and he's going to set up the Lich King at the same time. I am going to trick him. I totally forgot I'd trick him on this. Uh, so go ahead, sir. Please, please be my guest. Tailwind. Tailwind, please. You don't Tailwind. I'm going to be uh, very upset. Show it to me. Show me the Tailwind. You gotta be Tailwind. Yeah, cool. Thank you very much. Thank you for wasting a Tailwind. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now we set up Light Screen. Yes, yes, very nice. And then we drop, or he drops Water Spout, which we soak decently well through the Light Screen. Decently well. Lunala is just a bulk master. And Crimson is gonna take some damage, but I'm all about it. I'm all about it. We get off this lovely little Trick Room. We can now throw one of these... Crazy meteor beams into Kyogre. And at the same time, do I Thunder Wave or do I set up the Reflect? Who do you have in the back end? Let me see your Pokemon. You're definitely Rocket Zacian. And I could say C Cartana or another Pokemon. So I'm going to set up the Reflect here before my boy goes out here. He protects Kyogre. You smart little biscuit, but we'll get a special. We'll get a special uh, attack. Special attack boost here still. It's pretty good. Meteor Beam's going to fly. We still get that special attack boost, which is good. And then we can use a stab move after this, so I'm kind of kind of with it. You know, is this Whimscott? This Whimscott has to have Trick Room, right? He might be going for Trick Room. Ooh, little biscuit. <laughs> Come on now. All right. You want to play that game? It's fine. I'm just going to Moon Guys beam this thing, and I'm going to Thunder Wave. You want to you play games with me, dude? I don't need your Trick Room. I don't need it. I don't need it. I do not need it. The Swim Scouts Rocket Tailwind and Trick Room. Pretty cool. But I am now going to Thunder Wave into that uh, Kyogre slot and then drop a Moon Guy Speed. And a helping hand, too. How dare you? How dare you? Can you please land this Paralyze? I said please. Yo, I said please. I said please. I said please. Grimstar, oh, come on now. You're my boy. You're my boy and your missus is Paralyzes. That hurts, man. I could have popped the Trick Room again. I could have popped the Trick Room again. But this thing's still at full HP, which kind of annoyed me. But Moon Guy's Beam's flying out here. Do some nice damage. Not bad. That hurts the soul. Uh, I could Dynamax. Definitely Tailwind in this turn. He's definitely Tailwind in. Uh, do I go into Kyogre or do I go into Thunders? Could Dynamax Thunders this turn. Huh. I'm gonna Dynamax Thunders this turn. Maybe I should just Dynamax. Oh, I should have Dynamax Kyogre. What am I doing? Uh. Huh. I should Dynamax Kyogre. I guess we'll Moon Guys Beam and hit this thing. We could Wild Charge. We could Dynamax. I'm gonna airstream boost. I'm gonna double down to Kyogre. We know he's going for the Tailwind Origin Pulse strat here. It's tough. This is tough, man. Dude, if my Grimstarl dodged that move, it could have been sit or landed that Thunder Wave, we could have been sitting solid because we would have neglected so much damage from the Water Spout that my Lunal could sit here and get off an extra turn. Oh, dude, this sucks, man. This sucks. It's fine. It's fine. We're Dynamax now. We're, we're trying to fight back here. We know he definitely has Zassy in the back end, but Kyra can do some work. Especially one-on-one. -on -one. 
Harry can win that battle. We Dynamax is Thunderous. I wonder what he's going for. He's got to be Tailwind. Uh, Origin Pulse, right? Now we go straight for Moon. I'm actually fine with that Moon Blast coming in here. I'm fine with that Moon Blast coming in here. Crits me. Just to rub it in my face. And you going? What are you going for? Ice Beam? He is going to go for it. He took pretty well. Do not freeze me. Phew! I thought he was going to freeze me there. We end up going in this airstream and we get rid of Kyogre, which is pretty big. He can still Tailwind whenever he wants. Wimscott is bothering me a little bit. But if he wants to waste his turn with Tailwind, I have two very strong Pokemon out on the field at this point. And my boy Thunders. Oh, yeah, he had Tailwind out here. I totally forgot. He had Tailwind from like turn one. Okay. He had Tailwind. I, 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 I totally forgot. That's what I was saying. I was like, dude, he's going to Tailwind. And then he doesn't Tailwind. I'm like, okay. But Tailwind was out there the whole time. I should have noticed that after his uh, Kyogre went first. Or before my Thunders, I should say. But he has Wimscott. He definitely has Zassian floating around there somewhere. We're bringing out Kyogre, which is pretty good. So if he has to waste a turn due to Tailwind, that's totally fine. Could also blade me. I could guard here. Which I'm thinking of doing. I'm thinking of just guarding and water spouting. Because I mean, he's definitely going to tailwind me here. This has got to be a water spout, but yeah, we're, we're, we're guarding and we're tailwind. Or we're guarding and water spouting. We're going to say he tailwinds here because he knows we have a, a speed boost. And then he's probably, he's got to drop a behemoth blade into me, right? Like what Zassian looks at Dynamax Pokemon is just like, nah, I'm not going to Behemoth Blade that. You got to throw a Behemoth Blade in this slot. Tailwind coming. And up there's Tailwind. Show me the Behemoth Blade right into my Thunder slot. To play rough into my Thunder slot. Not a Behemoth Blade. That's a little weird. But still, he goes for that. We get, we're able to drop off a full HP Water Spout. Mystic Water in the rain. We say bye-bye to Zassian. And a big time read comes out from us. And we're right back in this battle. He still has Dynamax out, which is definitely a little scary. But again, we have two very strong Pokemon sitting on this field at this moment. With another turn left of Dynamax. So huge Max Guard play from us. Um, huge Water Spout play. And his final Pokemon is going to be Zapdos. I don't know how to feel about that. I don't know how to feel about that. Uh, I think at this point, do we Ice Beam or do we just Origin Pulse? I think we Origin Pulse. Zapdos could come after me. But I think I just do this and I Airstream or do I Lightning? I could darkness for the special defense drop, which I'm kind of leaning towards here. I think a special defense drop can really get us. Let's see what he does here. Zapdos is strong, man. Zapdos is strong. I don't know if that was a play to go for special defense drop, but Zapdos is strong. And it's going to be cooked on this tail. I think he, he, he can just choose whoever he wants to KO. Let's see how this one plays. He goes for the helping hand, and yeah, whoever he's hitting is dead. Who are you going to hit here? Lightning? I don't know. Yeah, Kyogre. See you later, buddy. Thanks for coming out. Thanks for coming out. And yo, we almost make the comeback happen. We almost make the comeback happen, but yeah, we're going to end up losing this one. He's just going to helping hand out. He's just going to be able to take me out. It's going to be GG's. I don't even think Lightning would have killed. I think Lightning would have did a good amount of damage. I think Lightning would have killed. Oh, we got a crit. I was going to say, if that's how much we're normally doing, then Lightning would have killed. But I don't know. Lightning would have did a lot. Because just think, stab, it's neutral. We got the uh, Life Orb boost, and we have the Electric Train boost. Lightning might have been our fire. It might have been a play, but that's going to be GG's. Uh, I can't fly and dip out here. He can't miss an attack. He has speed. I'm just going to run this battle. Yo, good game to our opponents today. We got one and two for today's video. Not too bad, but we have awesome three set of battles. Not a bad set of battles for today's video. We ended up going one and two, but again, all three battles, I feel like we're pretty solid all around. We end up grabbing ourselves a win. First battle, the Rockfall did us dirty. And then third and final battle, we almost made an awesome comeback there for a winning record. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. 
Make sure you spread some positivity today. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.